Come on guys. Well, today we're talking more knives and uh, this one unfortunately is discontinued But I like this knife a lot So I wanted to still talk about it and do a review while it's still somewhat relevant You can find these online. I mean, it's not going to be at a lot of retailers because it was discontinued But you may get a good price on it just because they're you know blowing them out a lot of places But this is the uh, CRKT Northcliffe. It's a model 7490 um, Very interesting little gentleman's knife. It is a, a liner lock um, now, originally these were $50 MSRP, it's full full retail, obviously you're not going to pay that. Uh, most places were selling for about $30 to $35. Uh, however, I did see that uh, on Amazon, um, CRKT's official Amazon page has one left in stock for $20. Bucks. So someone will pick that up, I am sure. Um, but besides that, like I said, some of the dealers out there have them. I think Knife Center has them for like around $30 something. You just have to do a you do a Google search. You can find them, but uh, yeah, I mean it's a really interesting knife. It is Chinese made, sporting a uh, 8CR13 MOV, 2.9 inches on our blade here. It's kind of a leaf shape. Um, came razor sharp though. There is a very slight swedge. If I can get the light right, you can see that it starts about here, works all the way to the tip. All right, you can see a big CRKT logo on there. Obviously it has a, a nail nick. Okay, there's a liner lock. All right. Nice little uh, detent on this one as well. Okay, so it wants to stay shut. As far as the uh, the lockup, um, it's like 99.9%. .9%. If I really kind of crank down on that, I could feel just the tiniest bit of up and down, um, but there's no side to side whatsoever. Uh, definitely a uh, very decent lockup there. I do like the fact that this is nestled in there. It's kind of out of the way. It doesn't make for extremely difficult closing, but you do have to purposely get the tip of your thumb in there to get that over enough to, uh, to disengage it, okay, a couple times and, and using this knife, I just kind of flip right past it. But um, yeah, just beautiful, all stainless construction, except for, of course, these inserts. This is a genuine uh, ebony wood, okay, so very dark in coloration. We have kind of a, a classic tombstone type, you know, pattern going on here. The only thing in way of like the actual design is I kind of wish these two body screws were next to each other. I'm not sure if this serves a purpose interiorly, if that has to be there or not, I guess maybe it's holding in the uh, you know spacer for the uh, the back of the body there. Which, by the way, is super clean. I mean, this is super smooth. Feels like one piece, but obviously, as we look close, there is a spacer in this knife. All right, so fin finish is actually really good, especially with these inserts. Really nicely done. But anyway, just from a visual perspective, I like that this insert follows this line of the handle perfectly on this side but i kind of wish this screw wasn't here so this could follow the same on that side you know what i mean be a little wider towards the end here you know but i don't know it's kind of a, a kind of nitpicking at it but uh yeah i don't know i just i really like it overall it's a super smooth knife nice uh, gentleman's knife i love the blade style the blade shape all right it comes in at 3.3 ounces 7.5 inches overall and closed 4.3 inches it's just pretty damn cool if you happen to get a chance, I mean, if you're a CRKT fan, you might have already picked one of these up before. But if you never saw this before, and you happen to find this, I think it's a really good buy. I really like this one. It's a shame that they discontinued it. Not exactly sure what year this model came out, but I guess it didn't sell well. But I happen to be a fan. I really like it. It's a very cool, affordable gentleman's knife. So anyway, of course, it's um, obvious downsides. No lanyard hole, no pocket clip or anything. It's not a tactical knife. This is a old school gentleman's knife but it can slip right into a uh, suit pocket or some slacks. And uh, it's just, it's classy, that's all. I really like it. I like the uh, combination here of that dark ebony wood with the polished stainless. It's just a really classy knife, I like it. Again, not sure why it was discontinued, but it is what it is. I guess sales weren't very good, but might be one of those uh, oddball collectibles in the future. So if you happen to see them, I'd recommend them. So thanks for watching, hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.